It's a new era at General Motors. This is What's News on WSJ Live. I'm Joanne Poe. GM names Mary Barra to succeed the retiring Dan Ackerson as CEO. Ms. Barra is the automaker's first female leader. Mr. Ackerson plans to leave the company on January 15th. The change is part of a wide management shuffle at the company. Ms. Barra has spent her entire working career at GM and is currently the head of global product development. Meantime, the U.S. government closes the books on its investment in General Motors, selling its last shares in the company at a loss. The Detroit automaker's bailout cost taxpayers $10.5 billion. The move clears the way for GM to return cash to shareholders. Mourners gathered to say farewell to Nelson Mandela. President Barack Obama and dozens of other heads of state joining thousands of South Africans to commemorate the life of the former South African leader. Mr. Obama describing Mandela as the last great liberator of the 20th century and shared his personal and professional inspirations he drew from Mr. Mandela. Princeton University begins a mass vaccination of its nearly 6,000 students to try to stop an outbreak of meningitis type B. Seven students and one prospective student who was visiting the campus has been stricken by the potentially life-threatening disease since March. About 2,000 students received the shots the first day. The vaccination is an unusual federal government endorsed administration of a drug not generally approved for use in the United States. The students will need two doses of the vaccine. The second round will be given in February. We'll keep you posted on all the latest news developments throughout the day and what's news on WSJ Live. I'm Joanne Poe.